This is actually Aboriginal Day. Aboriginal Day, yes. And we are very excited to have Chef Andrew George with us from the Tsleil-Waututh Culinary Arts uh, Training Program. And a couple of your students, we have Alicia and Nick uh, helping us out. And some other students are going to be joining us as well. What are we making today, Chef? Today we're going to do a uh, uh, play on the uh, classic uh, salmon and bannock burgers. That brings me right back to my beginning at Expo 86 when I was introduced to the world. And uh, we're bringing it back. I love this. And. Uh, Tell us about your uh, trainees, uh, your chefs in training that we have here today. Okay, th these students here are part of a professional cook level one, 28 week program. There's a program with uh, Slewa Tooth, which is a Barrard band, mm -hmm. uh, connected to the Vancouver Community College. And it's all part of a big, bigger picture of uh, trying to get Aboriginal people into the trades, apprenticeships. Uh, we have a, a board. We sit with the Industry Training Authority. Really? Uh, we also have an Aboriginal Advisory Committee that sits there, and we look at all trades in British Columbia, trying to increase the participation of Aboriginal people in trades. And the culinary arts is a great way to do so, particularly with Aboriginal cuisine, which is on the rise in particularly our area. Everybody talks about what is Vancouver cuisine? What is Pacific West Coastal cuisine? Does it get more so than a beautiful piece of uh, yes, salmon? Yes, and exactly, because the, the West Coast people are the people of the salmon. We follow yes. the cycle of the salmon. So uh, that, that's the, the, the wild salmon stocks are very integral to our people and very important. So not a better way to celebrate Aboriginal Day than the first run of salmon. All right, so we are uh, cooking off yeah. our salmon in a very hot skillet filled with oil, seasoned salt and pepper, and what else are we doing? Uh, we're going to make some bannocks, so we're going to bring Let's Alicia over. Come on so, over, Alicia. Uh, the, the recipe, what we have is very, very simple. We have okay. three cups of flour. Three, three cups flour. One tablespoon of baking powder. Okay. One teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar. All right. Pretty basic. We'll put the whole recipe on our website, so watch as it goes here. Very simple. Yeah. So this is a yeast-free? Yeah, this is a unleavened bread. Really? And it makes this beautiful, puffy gorgeousness. Yes. So what we're looking for, a consistency, is in between a, a dough and a batter, okay? Okay. So we try not to over mix it or it'll get really tough on you. So Alicia, you can get some flour on your hands. We'll, we'll uh, start rolling that out and we'll start frying some bannock. Awesome. Do you think we can get it in the fry pan inside 30 seconds? Because we're going to stay with uh, the crew here and make the bannock. I want to taste this and uh, as do other members of our team. Come on in here, all you students. And we, I, they, they have a message. As we're getting the, the, the don't panic, we have lots of bannock right here. Come on in behind here so everybody can see you. Come on over here. Come on over here. What is the message you students wanted to say to all the BT viewers on three? One, two, three. Happy Aboriginal Day. We're back in just a moment with more breakfast television where there will be bannock and salmon served on this Aboriginal Day.